All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. Want to talk about this potential fight that could be taking place within a couple of months. You got your boy Dillian White versus Dynamite Dubois. And man, speaking of Dynamite, you know it's going to be some explosives in this fight right here. Dillian White just coming off a loss to Tyson Fury. Daniel, his last loss was against Joe Joyce, but he pretty much redeemed himself since then. Even became a champion. Yes, it's a regular champion, but it's still better than nothing. You feel me? Now, this is no prediction. You know how I do. Once I make the prediction, I lock in. This is just me discussing the fight. One thing about this fight, we all know, Dillian White cannot lose this fight. Daniel could lose to Dillian White. Daniel's still young. At the end of the day, he lost to Dillian White, a top five heavyweight. He could bounce back. We've seen fighters bounce back from losses from Dillian White, Joseph Parker, Derek Azura, many more. Robert Hellenius. Shit, Robert Hellenius is arguably doing better than, nah, fuck, arguably he is doing better than Dillian White right now. Shit, he's in line for a title. Shit, he just got Deontay Wilder, and we all know Dillian White been one of Deontay Wilder. But one thing I do know about Daniel, he got some real power. You got to have a real chin. Don't let that Joe Joyce fight fool you. You got to have a real chin to deal with Daniel. And I feel like Daniel was underestimating Joe Joyce a bit. Not saying I picked Daniel to win or no shit like that, but you get what I'm saying? Speaking about Dillian White, who don't got the best chin, but who got some tremendous power. Besides Deontay Wilder, you can argue that Dillian White is the most hardest puncher at heavyweight right now. But Dillian White, he is definitely, I mean, not Dillian White. Daniel is definitely in that conversation. You guys, I would love to see this fight because you know somebody's going to go to sleep. That's my thoughts. I'm out.